tis the season and with a little bit of ingenuity i've managed to hook up some christmas lights to the drive battery in the phev and uh yeah i've been driving all over town with my christmas lights spreading christmas phev cheer Hey, happy holidays, everybody. I should say Merry Christmas because I'm that old-fashioned kind of guy. Tis the season, mid-December, gearing up for Christmas in the PHEV. Haven't touched base with you guys in quite a while. Have not turned on the Watchdog app probably, well, since the last video, however long that was, uh, two months. So we're going to turn that on today, see what state my battery is in. Um, I know that right now in winter conditions, I can't make it to the college and back. 34.7 kilometers uh, to teach in the morning, come home, then I'm off to my other job in the afternoon, and I can't do it in winter conditions um, unless I don't use any heat. So if I don't turn the heat on and I go through town um, and skip the highway, I can just make it to the college, just make it to, to home on electric fumes, plug it in for a couple hours, and then go out again in the afternoon. Because I'm doing double the driving now, I want to show you guys, I haven't put gas in the PHEV since October. It is now December 10th, and it was the first week of October. I'll show you guys the kilometers that I've done and how much gas I have left in the tank. Sometimes it's hard to find Christmas cheer when I'm driving around with no heat on, but then I look at my gas mileage and I find my Christmas cheer. We're a year and a half into ownership. We're at 32,000 kilometers. Are you guys ready for this? Three quarters of a tank of gas. Haven't put gas in here in like eight weeks. 1,619 kilometers. That's how far I've come on that quarter tank of gas. Well, that quarter tank of gas and maybe $22 in electricity. Um, we also have the new charging stations here in town at the Y. And as I mentioned in the last video, I'm at the Y six nights a week. And uh, so I get a free charge there every day as well. So it's really hard to calculate what I'm spending um, fuel costs for this thing now because half my electricity, I don't put it into the system because I'm not paying for it. So I've basically stopped calculating electricity costs. It's probably cost me around 25 bucks a month something like that and then half of that is free from the y so dirt cheap <laughs> okay let's plug in the watchdog app and see what my battery status is october 22nd was when i brought the car in and had the battery conditioning done they didn't do a proper reset it didn't go up to 38 amp hours whatever they did it was up to 37 uh, amp hours even so let's take a look drum roll 36.7 amp hours so i've lost 0.3 amp hours in a month and a half that's not bad at all this is my christmas cheer video so i refuse to let mitsubishi battery issues bring this video down instead i have some great christmas phev gift ideas for you guys if your wife is like my wife she thinks when you buy a vehicle that it comes with a lifetime supply of windshield washer fluid i don't know she must think it's stored under the seat somewhere she doesn't know where the hood release switch is doesn't know any of that stuff. So my first gift idea is, there you go, the perfect Christmas gift for your wife. Half the gift is purchasing the windshield washer fluid. Make sure you get the good stuff if you live in Northern Ontario. The second half is actually putting it in the vehicle for her because she's not going to do that. So it's two gifts in one, guys. My PHEV gift ideas might be a little biased because I live in Northern Ontario. We maybe we deal with a little bit of different uh, temperatures and regional stuff up here. Um, so, hey, I'm trying to help. I will come up with one that's universal for you guys at the end. My second gift idea is one that is absolutely needed up here. Hey, a winter snow brush, not just any snow brush. In fact, this is my snow brush. This is the one I've been using for the last couple of years. And uh, really what you want to do is re-gift this to her. Okay, so 
she has her own vehicle. She's going to get this one, which then in fact means that I can go buy the new Nimbus 3000 uh, snow brush that I've been waiting for for the last two years, right? So she gets a gift, you get a gift. Perfect. Oh, there goes some deer across the road. Hey, hey, deer are Christmassy. Not reindeer, though. <laughs> Everyone's looking at my dash, looking at my lights, going, what, what is this guy doing? <laughs> I got sparkles all over my dash. They're everywhere. <laughs> so we actually got a whole bank of new chargers here in town, uh, up at the Canadian Tire Store. Unfortunately, they're all Tesla. There's like eight of them, which uh, when I heard they were putting in a bank of chargers, I was all excited. And then, I mean, good for Tesla that they've, that, you know, they're innovative and that they're doing this all across the country, but uh, the majority of people are driving, you know, vehicles with our type of plug. I, I know I could get uh, an adapter for that, but uh, it kind of was disappointing that it was Tesla. Maybe I just need to buy a Tesla. Maybe that, you know, Andy would say, I need to buy a Tesla. And here it is, our final gift on the list, the Island Oasis Air Freshener. Uh, you wanna get this one if you have a pet, dogs, they stink. Um, and she also might forget about the fact that she's driving around with no heat if you make the car smell like a tropical island. So, bonus for you. I was gonna put an electric furnace in here, hardwire that into the drive battery, hang some stockings, you know, it would solve two problems at one. Get a little bit of heat in here and add some Christmas cheer. My wife didn't like that idea though. And then I realized she was right. We don't have a moon roof for Santa to come down anyway, so there's no point in hanging stockings. <laughs> Sparkles everywhere. <laughs> My wife's gonna get in the car and think I had hookers in here or something. <laughs> Honest baby, it's Christmas sparkles. It's not dancing glitter. So really this is my year and a half update with the PHEV and um, hey, I'm loving it still. Saving a ton of money driving this thing, feeling good about saving the environment still, haven't had any issues with the vehicle at all. So in terms of reliability, knock on leather, no issues. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my happy holidays edition of the PHEV series. Uh, my Christmas gift ideas, some fantastic stuff there if I do say so myself. Um, all my tips over the course of the series, I will be checking in with you guys again at some point in the future. Um, so far, all I can say is a year and a half into ownership, I still think for me, this was the best vehicle that I could choose at the time. Um, like I say, I just can't justify purchasing a vehicle from this point forward unless it's some form of plug-in hybrid. The amount of money you save on fuel, the environmental savings, there's just no better way to do it. And uh, the Outlander is a big part of that in my family. So from me to you, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everybody. We'll catch you guys at some point in the new year. Thanks for watching. So now I have to vacuum up all of that Christmas glitter and dancing sparkles. <laughs>